amazing archaeological discoveries. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number 10, Roman coin mystery. In 2013, objects described as little round things were identified as coins dating back to the 3rd to 4th century Roman Empire, and they were discovered during an excavation at a castle in Okinawa. In all, 10 copper coins were discovered at the medieval castle, five of which are still unidentified. How did Roman coins wind up in Japan? Experts think the coins arrived in Okinawa long after they were initially minted. X-rays show the coins resemble those found in China or India places that were known to trade with Okinawa. And they were most likely considered decoration or treasure and not used as currency. But until further analysis is completed, this remains a Roman mystery. Number 9. Shipbuilding Wood from a 5,000-year-old log boat was discovered by archaeologists in Wales that may date back to the Stone Age. Pieces of wood were dated to 3210 BC and were found at a building site. The area was once thought to be a lake caused by an Ice Age blockage. Researchers found five pieces of timber, all made of oak. Because two pieces have features that work, it's thought that they were part of the log boat. The largest timber is thought to have been the log boat's gunwale, located at the vessel's stern. Another piece was thought to be a portion of the boat's hull, and archaeologists think more Stone Age remains are yet to be discovered in the area. Number 8. Child's Play One of the oldest toys in the world was discovered in Siberia recently. Archaeologists unearthed what appears to be a child's rattle at an early Bronze Age settlement and it's believed to be 4,000 years old. The object is molded in the shape of a bear cub's head and still jingles, so to speak. But it's also still sealed after all this time. Experts say it likely contains small stones inside its hollow interior. Now, interesting to note, the plaything also bears a special mark made by the sculptor. Maybe they knew this creation would stand the test of time. Number seven. Camelot. Medieval legend claims that Uther Pendragon, or King Arthur, was born at Tintagel Castle in Cornwall, England. A five-year excavation at the 13th century location has revealed an underlying palace that dates from the Dark Ages, meaning Tintagel Castle was built atop structures that existed centuries earlier. Thick palace walls and nearly 200 fragments of ancient pottery and glass imported from around the world have been found at the newly discovered site, suggesting that the earlier inhabitants enjoyed a wealthy lifestyle. Geophysical surveys revealed that the walls were built around the 6th century, which is roughly the time the king may have lived. Does it offer any conclusive proof that Arthur once called this place home? Well, that's still up for experts to debate. But researchers do agree on one thing. The excavation marks the first time that substantial buildings from the Dark Ages have been found in Britain. Number six. Archaeologists working at a dig in Istanbul say they've unearthed nearly 700 small ceramic vials of ancient remedies that date back nearly 1,400 years. They believe some of the curatives were used as treatments for heart disease and depression, among other afflictions. Other items were also found at the dig, including medical tools, mortars, pestles, and a big cooker, which leads experts to believe the location was a major center for drug production. The research team also found plants in a nearby field which could have served as the basis for many of the drugs. It's believed to be the biggest ever cache of ancient medicine ever discovered. Number five. The Plain of Jars. Located in Laos, this megalithic archaeological landscape is scattered with thousands of stone vessels measuring around one to three meters. But researchers have yet to identify their original purpose. The jars are found in clusters, numbering from one to several hundred, and date back to the Iron Age. Human bone and teeth fragments found inside the vessels showed evidence of cremation. That evidence, along with bones and pottery fragments found nearby, led to theories that the jars were connected to certain burial rites and practices. But nothing can be certain until the sites can be cleared of millions of unexploded bombs and landmines dropped on Laos during the Vietnam War. Number four. The Akhenev were a group of people from the Bronze Age that lived in southern Siberia and were nomadic herders known for their artistic diversity. 
Archaeologists recently discovered the 4,500-year-old grave of an Akhenev noblewoman, quote-unquote, in Siberia that was holding a small child. Scientists applied that title after finding some 100 decorations at the burial site, including an incense burner, elaborate carvings, and animal teeth used in a necklace, among other items. Symbols on the incense burner match those found in strange rock carvings in the region. The Akhenev buried the dead in mounds called Kurgans, and the noblewoman is the most important of over 500 finds at this mound. Number 3. A load of Bullwinkle. In 2011, a stone structure with the features of a moose was discovered by satellite imagery in the southern Ural Mountains, and archaeologists were baffled by it. But now, the origins of this enormous moose geoglyph, which stretches around 275 meters, may have come to light. Experts have located over 150 small tools near the structure, which were used for breaking stones or digging. And the small size of the implements suggests that children from a lost civilization may have helped in constructing this artwork some 6,000 years ago, which would predate the famous Nazca lines in Peru by thousands of years. As for why the huge animal was created, it's still a mystery, but experts think the geoglyph was somehow related to religious ceremonies. Number 2. The Phaistus Disc This archaeological mystery was discovered in 1908 at Phaistus, a palace site of Minoan Crete. It's thought to date back to the Middle Minoan Bronze Age around the second millennium BC. The object is around 15 centimeters in diameter and is covered on both sides with a series of symbols stamped into the surface. 241 tokens comprised of 45 distinct signs were pressed into a disk of soft clay, spiraling in a clockwise sequence toward the center of the disk. Archaeologists have made many attempts to decipher the script, but it's still unknown whether these signs might represent an alphabet or a logography representing words or phrases. Most experts accept the disc as authentic and agree that until more examples of these signs are uncovered, attempts to decode it will likely fail. If you'd like a crack at the mystery code, the disc is currently on display at the Archaeological Museum of Heraklion. Number 1. The ancient rock-cut city of Petra is Jordan's most popular tourist attraction and has been inhabited since prehistoric times. Yet it wasn't until recently that archaeologists made a huge discovery just 800 meters south of the city center, a giant monumental platform that was essentially hiding in plain sight. The rectangular structure measures around 184 feet by 160 feet, about twice as wide as an Olympic swimming pool. So how was it found? Scientists used high-resolution satellite imagery along with ground surveys and aerial drone photography to locate the structures. Although still unexcavated, the presence of surface pottery at the site dates from around the mid-2nd century BC, suggesting the monument has existed since then. 